they're like trying to say <laughs> three different things at once. I don't know why they're doing that to me. Because you practice your multi-dimensionality. Yeah, but here in this realm, we don't talk like that. <laughs> so it's like, um, good morning. We love your mixture. How are you? Can you feel the magic in the air? It's such a beautiful day. And we're so grateful to be here. As you have taken on the task of applying the information that we've been communicating, you've been shifting your energy field very quickly. And from where we are, we would like you to know that you are making huge leaps forward, expanding your consciousness at a very accelerated rate. Continue to move your body in a way that allows the release that will happen naturally of any energies that are not serving you as your light comes further into your physical body. And at the same time, Stay aware of the moments where resistance may enter into your field and give yourself the opportunity to breathe through it and release it here in the now moment because the more present you become, the less you will hang on to any energy that does not serve you, which will create the momentum of the flow that you seek. <clears throat> So again, good morning. We're excited to be here. Your awareness this week has been very strong. And it has served you well. We are going to encourage you that this week you do the same as the energy will be heightened and the distractions will be plentiful. Call yourself back into your center. You are manifesting the timeline of exactly what you have asked for. to give yourself the opportunity of having the experience that you desire. At this point in your awakening, you must consistently hold yourself in attunement to what would become that highest path. And so we are going to continue to encourage you to mimic the total integration of the highest self. Because in this, you open up pathways within your consciousness, within your body, that allow in this energy in ways that you normally wouldn't. There is a freedom and playfulness. There is a surrender in your imagination when you hold no expectation over the result because in that space you know you control it. Hmm. Let it in. Use your tools. This week will be beautiful. Practice receiving it.
Crystal's goal this week was to lean in. And we are going to, for a moment, encourage her to continue to practice this space. There is a divine creation that is allowed when you step back and trust. Trust in all the things that have been communicated up until this point. Trust the knowledge and the love and support that has come forward and let that be the foundation in which you now surrender continuing to let go of thought processes continuing to let go of how this should all be navigated the co-creation was the opening and now you are to receive. <clears throat> and in divine reward for the energetic movement that you have chosen You can receive the answers to the questions that you have been asking. She wants to know how it is we truly are creating. How are we your mission partners and you, your human experiences co-creating in the creation of this new earth grid. Well, first you had to clear all belief systems release the limitations that weren't you so that you could begin to embody the truth in the releasing of the belief systems that were no longer yours you were able to receive the energy of the opening of your genetic coding There is a blanket, if you will, of energy that is lifted off your spirit when you release yourself from the matrix. And as that energy is lifted up off of your spirit, you are more able and more sensitive, more connected to the energies that are being released from within you. And these energies being released from within you are then ignited by the sensory system within your body, giving you your intuitive information, if you will. And your intuition is only there, striking your awareness so that you will pull your senses into the information that's asking for you to absorb it into your consciousness because you are a vibrational match and you both have the intention of forward movement along this path. From your clearing you now have the wherewithal to begin to understand who you truly are. You are open to the idea 
that you are larger than life. You now recognize the codes, downloads, synchronicities as information and begin to interact with them regularly, causing an opening within your willingness to be in more contact with your higher self and with source. Again, expanding your consciousness, expanding your openings, and expanding your awareness that not only are you an output of energy, not only are you a projector of energy, but you are also a receiver. This is the phase of creation that we are in now. Teaching you how to receive the information, teaching you how to receive the connection, teaching you how to receive the love and support that is here for you on a regular basis. Understanding that this energy is not an energy that is greater than you, but an energy that is here beside you. Ready to traverse this new landscape together. It is new for us too. But new in ways that you probably couldn't comprehend just yet. But just because you cannot comprehend the energetics behind the movement of energy that we are going through in our expansion does not mean that you cannot feel the love and gratitude that we give to you because you are the catalyst of our movement. You are the catalyst of so much of our growth as we co-create here together now. Receive. Let it in. In creating, as we were telling Crystal earlier today, you must balance your surrender and balance your desire and balance your action all in the present moment. Being so aware of your own energy field that you can look at the list of these three things, these three categories and say, okay, what do I need here and now? Relinquishing the personality and egoic structure, tuning into the spirit that's present when you come into the knowing of who you are. Because when you remember who you are, you can truly decide what you need. When you remember who you are, it's clear. The path is clear. And you have access to this. And this is the next phase. And it's only a matter of continuing to raise your vibration and allow for the integration of the highest self. And you do that by mimicking and playing and being willing to let it in. Be intentional in your time. Hmm. If you must experience it. Explore your desire to create. Continue to do so with the total knowing that not only are you from source energy, created by source energy, but you are the total expression of source energy here and now. And to see yourself as anything other than that is to not know the truth. Because the truth is, you are the God force. Just 
giving energy back to all that is, creating expansion for the greatest good of all. If you had any idea how great your intention truly is by being here during this ascension now, it would astonish you. And the freedom that you will feel when your inner truth can be known is a feeling that I would look forward to every single day if I were in your shoes. Because here on this side, when you know and see what is before you because you understand your creation, the element of celebration is never quite as sweet. So know that the celebration that you will feel when you come to know the victory of the light is something that we will be basking in right along with you as much as we can. Pure deliciousness is coming. Continue to pull away from the physical reality and allow yourself to get attuned to the energetics of not only who you are, but who you're becoming. There will be a time and place for you to come back further into the body and integrate this, but for now, we are going to ask that you feel it. that you come into these heightened energies and just play. Let go. Continue to create space for yourself to let go. Find ways to interact in the third dimension with the light and the knowing of who you really are. And choose to never again take any third dimensional experience and place it into your backpack and carry it along. Recognize in all moments you are creating chords with energy. Choose where you place your awareness so that you can also in that same moment choose the chords that you are willing to co-create with. Are you co-creating with hope or are you co-creating with doubt? What feels better? Shift your choosing if you need to. There is no energetic difference between worrying and envisioning a hopeful future besides the energetic vibration that is behind it. One is based on fear and one is based on love. But it is the same energetic creation. It is the same energy that is used. So next time you find yourself in any sort of worry, we would like to also remind you that you can... Shift yourself. Shift yourself back into the energy that is going to support you in your manifestation. Giving energy to the worry just creates more to worry about. Not even necessarily creating a worry in the external physical reality, but just creating all of the worry within. Mm, thought loops. Release chords with thought loops. Be present.
Teresa, we are communicating with your genetic coding at this time. Breathe. We are going to ask that you continue to fuel affirmations of the root chakra. You are solidifying your foundation here, and it is good. Remind yourself of your power in stability. Remind yourself that your creation begins in neutrality. We are receiving the information from your consciousness and we feel that the data is reflecting that you are maintaining a very tight course to the path that you have selected. Continue your monitor of your essence in noticing the subtle shifts. And as you shift very subtly, receive the conscious information that is there for you openly. Do not direct it through your thought. Just receive it. You will know the moment that the download is ready to be deciphered because it will come forward so strongly that it will stop you in your tracks. You've had this happen before. Where no matter what you are doing, your knowing will come forward so strongly and exactly what it was and what it meant and why it's there and where it connects. Let the energy run its course Because when you let the energy run its course, you allow it to guide you into your highest frequency. When you decipher and discern from where you are, the energy never makes it into the highest path. It's only deciphered and discerned from where you are. Will it always be this way? No. This is how you are beginning to open up to more telepathic nature receiving information from the beings and things around you. But allow it to expand because it is what you are asking for. Calming your body is doing such a good job at letting this in. We will encourage it. We are going to ask that you tap on your move to Austin as there is trauma in the body. This will clear your path of abundance once and for all. This will Harmonize the root chakra once and for all. And the flow between your confidence and God force will solidify itself and never feel unstable again. It is good. You are right on time. Everything is here to serve you now. Call yourself into the moment with you recognizing the partnership of this co-creation, remembering who you are, not just in the moments that you are here with us, but in every moment that you are there with you. 
we will remind you and we ask that you listen fully you are not this vessel while it is your temple it is not you and while we need you to connect to this vessel we are going to ask that you emotionally disconnect from this vessel it is temporary it is not long term as we have instructed in the past when you are finding your balance and a new energy The energy must be exemplified to its fullest, to be felt so strongly that you can find your balance in it. And then we can bring you back into your harmony where you can find ways to integrate this in a new way that will serve you so good. But for right now, the emotional disconnect is what is needed for you to come back into your neutrality. So we will encourage you here. Visualize the light coming in through the crown chakra. I am a vessel of light. My divine soul has chosen this specific body and it is good. And if all of the power and the glory of God and my higher self thought this body was exactly right, then I will too. I choose to release the resistance around this vessel now. And so it is. Directing your energy as a creator. Is an attunement and a spiritual awareness that allows you to surrender in the moment coming into the zero point of creation and truly sensing in to the essence of the desire while maintaining that connection to the higher self. This will not only clarify the desire but create momentum behind the energy of the desire. When you pay attention to your internal energy, there is a noticeable line 
in your energetic field where you feel yourself dip into lower energies. A large component of materializing any creation is making sure that you are in constant awareness of where you are in relation to that line. And to keep yourself consistently above that line, keeping yourself above neutral in vibrations of receiving. moving yourself further into an energetic space where neutral is now your bottom. Neutral is your base camp. When you embody fifth dimensional and higher frequencies, you will find yourself not dipping below neutrality. And if we want to give you some insight into the phase after that, moving further and further away from neutrality grounds the higher vibrations into the physical body, embodying more of the crystalline body. Through balancing your internal energies. Finding yourself no longer in a balance of positive and negative emotional states, but finding yourself raising your frequency and then maintaining it with purpose and awareness, total presence. And then when you feel yourself normalize in that energy, when that energy begins to feel neutral to you, immediately reaching for what's next. Accelerating your evolution, creating momentum to your desire. And letting it in through the heightened awareness that you are now choosing. And in the days that this is difficult to do, we just ask that you mimic the highest self. Remind yourself that you are a being of light. Yes, you have chosen to implant energy into the grid here on the planet so that the collective can have access to a new paradigm. But you also came here to create what that new paradigm looked like while everybody else focused on their healing and opening. You focused on being the creator when you were coming in. And then when the amnesia set in, we got distracted. But now that the amnesia is lifting, it's time to come back to these creations. It doesn't matter in which direction that you choose. It only matters that you go. It doesn't matter what you create. It just matters that you create. And the more that you open up the energy of being a creator in your life, the more you will raise yourself into the higher frequencies of it. So for right now, if painting opens you into your creative energy, let it be. But know that that will lead you into your universal creator energy as you heighten your frequency and awareness of yourself in this new opening. It's like building a muscle. You'll never know what it does until you're there, until it's plump and strong, fueled right, rested and ready to go. It is only then that you find out how strong it truly is. And as you open up to your new abilities and your gifts, it'll be the exact same. 
You must navigate it. You must play there so that you can understand it. It is not understanding it through the mind. It is understanding it energetically. And there is no blog that you can read and there is no channel that you can listen to that will ever give you the energetic signature of an ability or gift that you are tuning into. So unless you are willing to lean in, it will always be the carrot in front of the horse. It will always be the dream you chase. Because the missing piece that you are seeking is the leaning in, is the willingness to explore what's showing up here, the willingness to be quiet, the willingness to sit and be quiet and have nothing show up and to turn around and sit and be quiet and do it all over again the next day and the next day. Because it's not about the end result. It's about you getting to know you in that space. And if you find yourself breathing deep and entering into a whole nother realm, then you bet your tush you're going to go into this meditative state and you're going to soar. And you're going to open and you're going to receive and you're going to connect. Release the personality. Release the egoic structure's way of wanting you to believe that it needs to be this linear path of opening. Because you can be completely closed and distant from your connection one day, and you can be completely immersed in it in the next, receiving massive downloads and massive amounts of messages, exactly what you need to hear in this moment now, with validation of synchronization to follow it up in your reality after, so that you can feel validated within the energy that you just communicated, communicated in. But can you also not feel that again the next day? Yeah. If you want your energetic connection to the higher realities to be consistent, then you must practice consistently. You have all the tools that you need. And not only do you have the tools that you need, you have source in your heart, every single one of you. And that connection is constant, whether you're distracted or not, whether you're in tune or not, whether you're in pain or not, whether you're in love or not, source is there. Those arms never close. That energy never tapers off. Ever. You're either receiving it or you're not. You have everything you need and we love you so much. You're a powerful creator. Play in the gifts that are present for you. Let the river of source carry you away. We know you are tired. We were hoping you would all surrender a long time ago. (laughs) But it is good. And it is perfect. And it is exactly on time. We love you so much. We're complete. That's good.
That felt good. I got my instruction manual I've been asking for. Sorry, it was all about me today. Because <laughs> you thought you were going to go into the bedroom and channel by the cell. Nope. I said, mm-mm. Uh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down. You have some things for me, yes? <laughs> now, I am complete. 